Hello the tube, cheap ass knives. Well, yeah, I had another one this morning. I've been waiting for this one for a while, but what can I say, you know? Can't fault it. £3.34. It's a nice little thing, fair play. US Sabre. And the mask. But you know me, I'm quite crap, like all oh, specs and things, so I got this in front of me, so I'll do a quick, quick rundown, a quick show. Uh, so look what we got here. Fixed blade, blah de blah sharp, durable. It is quite sharp, I was surprised how sharp it was. It is it is sharp. But I could do a little bit of this with a nice little strop in. No doubt they will. It doesn't say what the blade material is. Weighs about 60 grams. Comes with this little doodad of a pouch, which I think is quite pointless, really, but stops you from getting uh, stabbed in the in the leg or whatever you want to keep it in the pocket or something, but. For the price, you can't fault it. Like I said, they only had it because taking all the paracord off for me is, uh, what's it call it? Like a skeleton knife. And I was wondering if it'd be any good for throwing. So we'll soon see. I'll take it all apart and uh, we shall have a look. Let me, let me whip it down again. Easy if I just show it, wouldn't it? But it looks a nice little knife, fair play, and for the price, you can't really fault it. I thought it was bigger than what it what it was, but what it is, sorry, I should say. Uh, that's bad, I feel, wouldn't it? A little bit dirty, but can't afford it for the price. But honestly, God, it's, it's crazy. You know what I mean? You would have thought that it would cost them a lot more to make it and send it. And it feels all right, to be honest. You know what I mean? Do a nice little bit of stropping and it'll do for a little bit of uh, bushcraft, bushcraft laugh. Or... My experiment when I start throwing knives, like, you know, is who knows, it might be a good thrower. Uh, let's see if he's weighted. See, so yeah, I think it'll work. So, so far, so good. But like I said, I've never been one like for throwing knives, so I wouldn't really know. I definitely changed the umbrella rope because it's not part of cord at all as you can see but i'd probably use them without the paracord throw them and i'll probably end up paracording them back up then and see see what i can do with the paracord uh just got a shipment stainless steel blade yeah i was quite surprised quite nice i i like i like the feel of it don't get me wrong i do but i think it's the way it's whipped you know the the way that it's uh all strung together but i probably i will i am going to end up stripping it all apart and uh see what it's like and i'll do my own little mess about paracord work on it but yeah i'm surprised really it's nice and sharp fair play Definitely cut yourself with it. <laughs> but that's a nice that I'll strike a ferro rod if you wanted it too, if you needed it too. Definitely. But no, I just thought I'd show a little cheap ass knife that I've received and 
like you know me, I am gonna clear about the specs and all the M M thirteen CF eighty two Siggy or whatever it's called, you know, the names of the steels and this, that and the other. And all the other jog it's all jargon to me really. But I just like the look of them look of them. I like the feel of them. And fair play, it's a cracker, it's a winner for me so far. I do like it. Like I said, for the price, you, you can't fault it, you know, you know, even if it just went in your, like, bug-out bag or day pack or something. It's better than a kick in the teeth, definitely. Uh, let's have a look, high-grade steel. Steel blade and roped handle, hey, hey. a good tool for paratroopers and divers. So you could go diving and try it out. But uh, yeah, I'm quite impressed with it. Like I said, it's taken, well, I can't remember when I bought it, but it took a good few weeks to get it, but it got you. Model number, sharp, durable, packing. Stainless steel. No, it doesn't say nothing what material it actually is. Although it's stainless steel, I know that. But for three pound thirty four, you you can't go wrong, can you? There's nothing wrong with that at all. I just the sheath is a bit pants, obviously. Uh, it's not all about the sheath, is it? You can make a new sheath or find find the sheath somewhere else. But it all fits, does the job. Uh, if I can get it to do, yeah. It's not very sturdy, obviously, but you know you can see that. But for the price. For the cheap ass knife, which may be a good thrower for me, three pound thirty-three. It's a cracker. Uh, so I just thought I'd Betty back would be back with another cheap ass knife and just show you all. And so I hope you've enjoyed. And I'm sorry I'm quite crap like with all the specs and what material it actually is. I know it's stainless steel. I know that. But what stainless steel and if I obviously I can't bend it. <sighs> no, I can't bend it. But yeah, it feels nice and weighted, like I said, you know, like we've done and wait, try it again. And I think without the paracord you might make a good thrower. So I'll be putting that with the rest of the them hollow ones I've got. And one day I'll hit the mountain, find some place to throw it, and we'll give it a whirl. So, nice one, the tube, and thank you very much for looking. Just thought I'd show you once again, Buddy Bach out. Take care, all. Cheers, the tube.